Good day everyone, our topic for today is all about hypothesis testing using person product moment correlation coefficient which is part 3 of our discussion about uh, person, person R. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell for more updates. Also, uh, you will find different subjects in this YouTube channel. Just select the playlist section. And now let's start with the discussion. So to interpret, by the way, uh, let's have a review. To interpret the person R, we have the following linear re uh, relationship. Okay. So we will just follow this um, linear relationship. So for 0 0.01, which is no correlation, up to 1.00, which is perfect correlation. Okay, so you can take a screenshot for this for, for you to follow the discussion later. Alright, so for example, if R is equal to 0 0.25, the relationship can be uh, regarded as negligible positive correlation. When R is negative 0 0.25, the relationship is said to be negligible negative correlation. The, the neg for negative correlation, it is determined by the absolute value. But in, the, in my given um, table of this, uh, there is a negative and positive. So no need to make it an absolute value. All right. For the formula, we have R for the person R equals quantity N, my, N times summation of XY minus summation of X times summation of Y divided by square root of the square bracket of N times summation of X squared minus quantity summation of x squared, a uh, square bracket, uh, n times summation of y squared minus quantity summation of y squared. I already discussed this in the part of our um, video about a uh, person R, so no need to, uh, to dis discuss it in further. But in the uh, hypothesis testing of the person R, we have the T test or the test statistics. We have T equals R, square root of n minus 2 which is our uh, df degree of freedom divided by 1 minus r squared so we will use this very important formula after we solve for the r which is the t, t test for person r where r is the uh, person person's correlation coefficient n is the number of pairs of uh, values summation of x is the sum of the x values summation of y is the sum of the y values summation of x y is the sum of the products of paired values summation of x squared is the sum of the squared x values summation of y squared is the sum of the squared y values and x prime is equal to mean of a var variable x and y prime is the mean of the variable y all right, let's have a problem one. Test the hypothesis that there is no significant correlation between mental ability and English proficiency at 5% level of significance. So these are our given data from the 10 students, the mental ability, and the English proficiency with the following score per student. So we will see if there is a significant or no significant correlation or relationship between mental and English profic proficiency. So we will follow the 5% level of significance. For the HO, our HO is there is no relationship or significant relationship between mental ability and English proficiency. And there is a significant relationship between mental ability and English proficiency. For our uh, DF, we have N minus 2 as our formula. So the degree of freedom is N minus 2, uh, 10 minus 2, I mean, for the number of students, which is 10. And the DF is 8. For the alpha is 0 0.01 and the critical value is 0 0.632. Let's see. Let's check first. Okay. So this is our critical table that we were going to use in um, finding the critical values, of course, for the uh, person R. The title is table of critical values for persons R. You can just uh, download it in the Google. Okay. So level of significance one tail then two tail we always use a uh, two tail in the because uh, our given is non-directional 
So it's two tailed, and zeta point zeta five is our given degree uh, level of significance, and the df is eight. If I'm not mistaken, it's eight, right? So under wait na under eight, uh, the intersection of eight and zero point zero five is six zero point six three two, right? So that will be our critical value that we will use to compare for the computed value. This is the critical value. So it's correct. Now let's proceed. So that's our H O H A. Ayan. Okay, now um to solve first, uh let's solve first the R. The the uh the person R. Okay, to solve the person R we have this given uh, a while ago for the number of students, the X and the Y. We X represent for the mental ability and Y is the English proficiency. For the X squared, we just squared the x so if we have 55 times 55 3025 52 times 52 2704 50 times 50 25 47 times 47 46 times 46 43 times 43 40 times 40 38 times 38 36 times 36 and 34 times 34 for the y squared we have this one so we will solve uh, y by itself twice so we have 205 times 205, and then 203 times 203, you will get 41, 209. 186 times 186, uh, 195 times 195, 192 times 192, 190 times 190, 194 times 194, 170 times 170, 188 times 188, and 180 times 180. For the x times y, okay, these are given, no? Uh, this is automatic. Uh, this is the, the 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 steps that you're going to to do. Okay, nakalagay na agad yan. Okay, so for the x times y, we will multiply x and y. So we have fifty five times two hundred five, uh, fifty two times two hundred three, uh, fifty times one eighty six, forty seven times one ninety five, forty six times one ninety two, forty three times one ninety, forty times one ninety four, for thirty eight times one seventy. I think. Uh, 36 times 188 and finally 34 times 180 after that uh, we will count first how many n do we have we will not add this huh? we will just count them the number of n is 10 for the x y x squared y squared x times y we will get the summation the summation means to say the total of x is 441 the total of y is 1903 the total of x squared is 19899 the total of y squared is 36, uh, 36, 36, 99, and the total of xy, which is x times y, is 84, 4, 6. So, we will write them here. So, these are now our given to solve for the r. Just substitute the given to the formula. Solve it as I what I've discussed in the previous video. So, 10 times 84, 4, 6, 441 times 1, 9, 0, 3. The same is true with the, the given below. Okay, so after solving this, you will get 4,509 and 9,581 for this portion. For this portion, you will, you will get 4,857 and then just multiply the two and you will get this value. And then 4,857 divided by square root of 432,729. And you will get 0 0.74. A front of your answer to the nearest hundreds or two decimal places. And interpretation is strong positive correlation. So, pataas siya. Now, we will uh, look if there is a significant difference or, I mean, significant relationship or no significant relationship at all using the test statistics or T, T test. So, the formula is R square root of N minus 2 over 1 minus R squared. And the givens are 0 0.74, our computed R, square root of 10 minus 2 over 1 minus quantity 1, 0 0.74 squared. And then we have 8, and then divided by 1 minus 0 0.55. So, nakuha si 0 0.55, that is 0 0.74 squared. And then, that's it. Subtract, divide, squared, ayan. And you will get 3.13 as our answer. Okay, now let's go back with the um, 
uh, our answer is 3.13. So let's go back with the critical value to determine if there is a significant difference or not. So our critical value is 0 0.632. So obviously, um, lumagpas siya. Okay, our computer is 3 point something. So lumagpas. Uh, in our uh, discussion about hypothesis testing, kapag lumagpas yung uh, computed value sa critical value, we will accept HA. Therefore, our conclusion will be there is a relationship between mental ability and English proficiency. It's a strong positive, so a strong positive relationship between the English proficiency and mental ability. Now, let's have another problem. Problem 2. Below are grades of the grade 10 students in preliminary and periodical tests. So, these are the grades of the 10 students. Again, uh, we will do a hypothesis, a hypothesis uh, testing. So, we will write first the hypothesis. For the now, we have there is no relationship between preliminary and periodic tests. And there is a significant relationship between the two. Now, the DF is same with our given in number one so obviously we will not use the table anymore because it's obviously that's the uh, the answer is zero point is that zero point six three two ah yeah okay zero point six three two okay next uh we'll compute first for to find the given okay to solve for the r so our x squared 75 times 75, 70 times 70, 65 times 65, 90 times 90, 85 times 85, 85 times 85, 80 times 80, 70 times 70, 65 times 65, 90 times 90. For the y squared, we have 80 times 80, 75 times 75, 65 times 65, 95 times 95, 90 times 90, 85 times 85, 90 times 90, 75 times 75, 70 times 70, and 90 times 90. For the x, y, we have, multiply the x and y, 75 times 80, um, 70 times 75, 65 times 65, 90 times 95, 85 times 90, 85 times 85, 80 times 90, 70 times 75, 65 times 70, 90 times 90. And then, just get first the number of n. The total n is 10. Not, do not add, okay? Because those are just the number of the, the, the students. The summation of x, or total x is 775. The total of y is 815. The total of x squared is 6925. Total of y squared is 67325. And the total of xy is 64,000. So just write all the given in the uh, uh, upper box. And then we can solve for the r. Just substitute the given. Okay. So. Upon solving this uh, numerator, you will get 8,375. Upon solving this first, the first bracket using your calculator, you will get 8,625. The second bracket, we will get 9,025. Just compute the two uh, on the below, so you will get 77 million and so on. And then divide the two directly, you will get 0 0.95 to decimal places. And look for the... Interpretation and the interpretation is strong, very strong positive correlation. So there is a very strong positive correlation uh, between the preliminary and the periodic exam results of the students. Now, using t test, uh, our test statistics, I mean, uh, with, with the formula, our quantity square root of n minus 2 over 1 minus r squared, just substitute our computed r is 0 0.95. So just uh, put all the needed data here. So we have 10 for the n. And you will get, okay, so if we all know how to do this. So our answer is 8.96, which is very obvious that, that uh, it is higher than our critical value 0 0.6. So lumagpas na naman siya doon sa ating critical value. And... We will accept H A and reject H O or not accept H O. Therefore, there is a relationship. There is a strong positive relationship between preliminary and periodical tests of the 10 selected students. Okay? So that's all about hypothesis testing using person product moment correlation coefficient or the part 3 of our lesson about person R. With that, thank you very much for listening and good day.